What is going on guys, it is Pandasod here, and today I will be teaching you how to do the quests in the new Unturned Elver server. If you're not already, please subscribe to the channel and like this video, I really appreciate it and I will be making more Unturned related content. Now the first step is you will spawn in town and you want to make it up to the flying house. Before you do this, you will need to upgrade your core skills in order to get to the floating house. Once you make it up here, you will need to sacrifice the scripture, and then it will say you may proceed. Now enter the teleporter and take the balloon and go through the door. Now it is pretty fun and I highly recommend exploring this area and talking to villagers. And also there is a DJ stand where you can vibe to music which is also great. Now make it up to Rainwright and accept all of the quests. This is the Huntsman quest which you have to kill 250 zombies. The second quest is retrieving all the cards. And the third quest is making it to the horde beacon zone where you then want to place a horde beacon and kill all the zombies now this is extremely hard and i highly recommend you have over 300 ammo and also you have health now once you do this congratulations you have successfully completed quest number one congratulations i'm proud of you very proud. After you do this, you want to go back to the teleporter, go up to Rainwright, and collect your rewards for the first task. We are going to start collecting all of the key cards. so once you're here, take out your balloon and fly over to the abandoned helicopter. In the helicopter is the black key card. in order to get it, you have to go prone at a certain angle so you can pick up the key card. Once you do this, you will want to make it over to the northern tunnel site where you will find your second key card, which is the white key card, and it's on the right side just behind the broken thing. Now this third one is harder, you have to destroy the TV in dorms at the eastern side building and you will find the red key card. Your third key card will be in this trash can at Fisherman's Grove. All you have to do is destroy the trash can and collect the blue key card. After you do this, you will make it to Junction 76 where you would find the green key card. However, I accidentally already picked it up, but it would be lying right there. The final one is located at the southern tunnels inside of a guitar case and all you have to do is run up to it and pick it up. Now you want to make it over to the Horde Beacon site and complete two Horde Beacons. This will reward you with some really good loot, I recommend you pick it up for later tasks. And then you want to go back up to Rainwright and complete all of the tasks. After you complete these tasks, you, he will ask you to complete more tasks in which you would want to do. For example, Summoner 3 is 3 Horde Beacons in Ghost Valley. This is terrifyingly hard. The next one is Servant, which is destroying all of the posters. It's pretty easy, and that's what we're going to start off with first. You want to pick up the artifact right below the floating house, and then you want to go back up into the floating house where you can then accept the challenge. You destroy the poster and then you want to make it to hospital. The poster is located on the outer side of hospital and all you have to do is destroy it. Now we'll go to demolition and it's on the east side wall, again I already picked it up and I'm sorry. The third one is at police station in the parking lot and the fourth one is in the gazebo at park. After you complete it, it says your reward is waiting. You go up and you complete the task and then you will get the final blue task which is worthy. Worthy is basically the task where you have to complete all of the tasks and it's the final quest you have to complete which means you have to complete another 3 horde beacons and kill 250 zombies. Now this final one I would probably say is the hardest because you have to have so many resources in order to complete this task and I highly recommend you are equipped for this challenge. Thank you. 
After you are done with this horde, you will be rewarded again with very good loot and I highly recommend you use this for your final tasks. Again, you have to do a second one and even a third one after this, so I highly recommend you are equipped for this. The zombies are very hard and there's a lot of spitters and even with an unattainable item, it is still hard for me to complete. After you do this and kill 250 zombies, you will be greeted with a green ghost up on Sky Island. You can then select that ghost and I don't really want to go into details because it's kind of a spoiler, but you will go into a Washington map and you can do some stuff in there. Again, I'm not going to tell you what you can do because that would be a spoiler and it is kind of an easter egg. So anyways, if you watch till the very end of this video, I highly recommend subscribing for more of my YouTube content. I really appreciate your support, and I will see you guys in the next one.